Hello everybody, Ramblin' Mike here, gonna teach on one of my favorite cards today, the Ten of Cups, right? It's a great card of bliss and happiness and joy, fulfillment in life. Can also talk about the dream thereof. Um, I have some of my favorites right here uh, to show you today, because you know, um, they have the same basic meanings, but the pictures, the pictures can uh, get you a little more intuitive hits off of it. This is Ten of Cups from uh, Fantastic Miniature Rat. It is a fun one, right? So it's got our little, our little bug family. Fantastic Miniature Rat has all the cool little animals in it. And uh, there's, there's Mom. She's uh, cutting them off a slice of bread. I guess they're all... They're all heading off to uh, some studies today, maybe, huh? Under the old rainbow right there. That's nice. I like that. Just, you know, and that, the tarot's about feeling, right? Feeling the pictures. That's a nice, that's a nice picture right there. Of the feelings of Ten of Cups, satisfaction, and the happy ever after, the happy family. Uh, this is a, one of Ciro's decks right here. I don't remember the name of it, unfortunately. Uh, most of his decks are black. This is the white one. This is the white one right there. And it's got the beautiful picture of the happy home and the ten cups and the rainbow. And the couple there just sharing the day with each other. It's quite a beautiful rendition. I love this one. This one's from the Gendron right here. I love the coloring of the Gendron. Um, it's definitely out of print. Um, I hope you can find one if you would like one right there. But... Just a beautiful, beautiful Ten Cups. It's got such a warm feeling to it. The two lovers looking into each eyes. and uh, You know, I like that one. I like the coloring of uh, that deck as well. This is uh, a pip. This is from uh, Mythical Creatures, which is uh, from Bubba Studios. Um, it is a pip representation, but it does have my couple in the middle of them right there. The Ten Cups, the Happy Ever After, in Pip, which is the symbols instead of a picture. It does have a little picture of our couple, though. What is this right here? Oh, this is a, a Victorian Romance. Victorian Romance, uh, Ten of Cups right there. They're even showing the baby off, and everybody's all excited. Family meetup. It's beautiful, beautiful. I just love the feeling of this card. Love the feeling of this energy right now. Thanks for sharing it with me. And what is this right here? Oh, this is uh, uh, what are the angel decks? <laughs> I have so many decks. Um, Influence of the Angels. Influence of the Angels right here. I think it's put up by US Games. Another nice, lovely uh, Ten of Cups, you know, old school right there. The angels blessing them. They got all their, all their, well, milk cans, I guess. <laughs> their milk cans right there. But they look quite content. They look quite content and happy. And the last one I want to share with you, where we crack the books, is... Uh, uh, this is Tarot of Progs. Tarot of Progs, gorgeous rendition of uh, Ten of Cups. Very lovely. Very lovely. The couple, the Hierophant energy right there. Uh, the boy and the girl, the baby. So, beautiful, beautiful energy right here. Let's take a look. Let's crack the books and see what the books have to say about Ten of Cups. I will be sharing from... Uh, Terra Fundamentals, which is a bubble, excuse me, a Los Cabarro book. Um, and uh, also I will be sharing from Michelle Morgan's uh, Magical Course in Tarot. Pull a description out of there. I'm going to share a poem from Kim Huggins. Uh, you get this little book inside the Tarot Illuminati kit. It's like... Um, it's like the uh, the major arcana's talking to you, or actually it has all of the deck, all of the arcana's talking to you. And I got my journal right here. My journal, share some about Ten Cups. Let's start with some descriptions. 
couple of descriptions and see what Tower Fundamentals has to say about 10 cups. Rainbows follow the storm. The Ten of Cups reflects the appearance of material happiness. The couple embraces one another in happiness, harmony, and unity of feelings and intentions. The vibrant countryside around them represents fertility. The rainbow of golden cups shining in the sky symbolizes optimism and confidence in the future. The two playing children represent what the couple has already produced, their future and also their relationship with the world. The house represents family and security. The happiness expressed in this arcana reflects feelings and relations and also the professional determination. The sphere of friendship and the interior or the insides of the individual. One discovers this sense of satisfaction when they are at peace with themselves and with the people around them. Senses are stimulated by positive ideas and feelings. The Ten of Cups also suggests positive outcome of a situation and an important achievement. In the expansion and satisfaction in every area, it is the expansion and satisfaction in every area. As always, the number 10 reminds us a situation has reached its finality. That's nice right there. Let's see what uh, uh, Michelle Morgan's descriptions have to say for 10 of Cups. The 10 of Cups represents success. There is a deep sense of personal satisfaction with this card to experience and savor all areas of your life. It is a time for celebration, for acknowledging your spiritual connection with family and friends, and for basking in the glow of a life well lived. Here you receive recognition for goals already attained, and the support and inspiration to work towards your future desires. The admiration and respect of your peers, the warmth of enduring love, and the security and contentment of lasting achievements are all gifts of this wonderful card and the result of your own right work. Bravo, it says, bravo. I would agree. I would agree. All right, let's take a look right here. Those are beautiful descriptions for Ten of Cups. We're going to look at classic traditional meanings for the Ten of Cups. If it shows up on your tarot spread in the upright position, classic meanings if it shows up in your spread, joy and rest in the heart. A lovely situation, the contentment of human love and friendship, happy family, domestic bliss, positive flow of energy, the happy ever after, which is a traditional name for this card. Let me see what else we got around here for this. Where are we, where are we going? Where are we going? Let me see. Let's go like that. Um, let's see what, uh, Kim Huggins, the happy ending, true, true joy and bliss, emotional connection with others, contentment and peace, inner, inner understanding, spiritual awareness. I don't know if you can get into Ten Cups without those two right there, right? Inner understanding and spiritual awareness. Depth of emotional wisdom. A happy marriage, a happy relationship. Look at that. It says perfection in life. 
I don't know if you can get there without being spiritual. Let's see what I got in my book right here. Classic, uh, classic meanings for Ten of Cups. I got a couple things in here. What do we got? Happiness, joy, bliss, a happy ending, a more than satisfactory conclusion to a project of love, a happy home, happy family, happy social life, Acceptance by a social group or community. Sharing joy with others. Freely expressing one's happiness. Favorable outcomes in love and friendship. Spiritual and emotional fulfillment. A realism of the joy of the world. Uh, following spiritual revelation. And that's it right there. Let me see that again. A realism of joy in the world after following spiritual revelations. Very, very nice. All right, let's take a look at uh, traditional meanings for Ten of Cups in, in the reverse. If you play, if you play with uh, reversals, and even if you don't, it's good to know about them. It's part of tarot. Uh, Ten of Cups in the Upside Down, Misplaced Trust, Anger, Violence, damn, Betrayal, Loss of Friendship, Waste, Idolizing a Situation Rather Than Being Realistic About It. Well, that was straight to the mark right there, wasn't it? Let's see what I got in my book right here about Ten of Cups Upside Down. Delayed Happiness. A home that appears happy externally, but may be struggling internally. Um, dissatisfaction. <laughs> this is uh, marrying the wrong one. <laughs> uh, feeling unable to share one's joy with others. All right, all right. All right. all right, all right, all right, all right, let me see, oh, now we got keywords, so let me get my journal back out, that's where I got a bunch of my keywords, keywords are fun, they're like little road markers, you know, if you're new to tarot, you know, I got no problem with writing on my cards at all, so nice thing about uh, these teachings right here, you can set that pause button anytime you want if you're working with your journal, here's some keywords for you, bliss, Joy, completion, family, love, marriage, children, harmony, love shared, peace, happiness, alignment, conclusion. A couple more keywords right here. I'm going to leave that out. Couple more keywords right here. Terra fundamentals. Let me grab them real quick. Harmony, success, family, contentment, peacemaking, joy, cycles, fulfillment, commitment, community, recognition, and rest. Beautiful, beautiful. You can put those in your journal if you would like. Um, astrologically, uh, Ten of Cups, which is referred to by many as the Happy Ever After card. Astrologically, this is Mars in Pisces. Mars in Pisces. And the uh, Golden Dawn Society has named this card the Lord of Perfected Success. That's nice. The Lord of Perfected Success. And with that, let's read a poem by Kim Huggins. Um, it's like the uh, Ten of Cups talking to us right here. Let's see if I can find it. There it is right now. There it is right there. The Ten of Cups, the happy ever after. 
Once upon a time, there was a boy. He was the youngest of three sons. He undertook many tasks and adventures on a quest for understanding love. And he went out into the world to find himself. Isn't that what the real reason for any quest is, any adventure? To understand, to understand truly is not to know the world out there, but to know the world in here, within yourself. And so the youngest of the three sons, after many experiences, found a reflection of his quest for understanding in another a girl, the youngest of three daughters, who sought peace, happiness, and fulfillment. In each other, they found love. Together, they made the world brighter. They made sorrows gentler. They made the nights warmer. Eventually, they were married, and in time, they became parents to twins a boy and a girl, who will one day grow up to feel the same desire to look out into the world for their happiness. This is the way of our world, that true bliss can only be found in the love one has for oneself and for others. Beauty shared and beauty created. The Ten of Cups, the happy ever after. Hope you got a little something out of that. Appreciate you tuning in one more time. Have an amazing day. May Ten of Cups follow you, my lovelies. Bye for now. All right, all right, all right. That went smooth.